Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Beastmas is incoming, it's very soon, probably going to come out around the 24th of December, around there, maybe a little bit later than that. However, the point is, it's coming very soon and there's lots of things you want to do before Beastmas, such as prepare a lot of honey and get a lot of resources. And hey, if you haven't played this game, now is a perfect time to start, because if you, if you, if you want to start now, you'll have a massive boost by Beesmus. Beesmus will really help you, like, start the game, and it will boost your performance a lot. I'll be doing videos on Beast Swarm quite a bit, and Beast, uh, and Beesmus, and hopefully you guys enjoy this game. So, I've actually got a something to tell you, and now a lot of you pros will probably know this. I, I'm not a pro myself, I know I'm mid-game. If that, I know I'm pretty not, I'm not, I'm not good at the game or anything, I'm not like, amazing, I'm not like, insane at the game. However, guys, macroing is OP, and I know a lot of you pros will know this, and a lot of people already macro, and by the way, in this game, macro is not cheating, macro is absolutely fine. And today, I'm going to be telling you why macro is so OP, and how I set up my own macro. Before you guys' expectations are too high, I will not be telling you how to actually download the macro and like all the little steps because uh, there's a Discord server you can use to do that. So, first of all, if you want to download the macro, that, there's a link in the description to a Discord server and you just follow the steps in the Discord server. If you need any help, ask me. However, I am not like a pro in downloading macros or anything. So, basically, what I'm saying is I'm not, <laughs> I'm not the guy to really tell you how to download it, but I'm going to be telling you how OP it is and also the settings I've currently got on. But please, if I miss anything or if anyone wants to have some help, please leave it down below. I can try and help you, but no guarantee that I can. Oh, and I know I've already said this, but remember, macros are completely fine in this game. You know a game is grindy when macros are allowed by the game creator. Macros are 100% endorsed by Onnit, the creator of this game. So here is the macro, and as you can see, I've got everything set up, and first of all, I want to give a massive shout out to Festive Trippy for helping me set all of this up, and it was really good. I AFK for about 2, 3-ish hours, and I went from like 6.2 billion to 11 billion. As I said, one more time I will say this, I am not telling you how to download this, I will leave a link in the description to a Discord server which will tell you how to download this because I do not want to be responsible for accidentally not giving you the right information because I am not personally very good at telling you where to go. So, this macro is my favourite macro, I've used a few macros and this one's a lot better because as you can see it's, it's very specified for this game. As you can see we've got gathering, pattern until, sprinkle, all this stuff. Now you will need to adjust this for yourself, so whatever field you want to go into, go to stump for example, I'm doing stump, uh, I can just set that to the field you want, there's all the fields here. If you want to like rotate field for example, go on stump for a bit and then go to the next one, you can actually set a gathering field rotation, however I'm not doing that and I personally don't think that's a really good idea, but maybe, maybe that is a good idea, I'm just telling you what I've done, so. Uh, shape elo, I was told this is probably one of the best ones to do, but length medium, I use medium, uh, width 2, you can pretty much copy what I've got here, um, just make sure to adjust it for yourself if there's anything which is a change, but all this should be pretty much the same, apart from the field. Collect slash kill, I've actually got it on clock and mondo, and what this means is that my guy, my character, will go over to the wealth clock every time it's ready, and also will go up, go up to mondo every time. Mondo is spawned and something I should probably say is you should definitely not touch your PC while this is happening because if you touch your PC it might mess up anyway also dispensers I've got glue here so every time the glue dispenser is ready it will go over to the glue dispenser over here in the gummy area and use it which is very helpful all of these you know you can use these bug runs stuff but I personally not going to do that if you do want to do that go ahead now I haven't changed this at all, you can change this, for example, hotbar um, slots you can say like always, you can, and you can like, do like to what tie like when when it does it, if you have like, if you want to for example do gumdrops infinitely when you're on the field, go ahead, however I'm not going to do that because I'm not, I'm not rich enough in gumdrops or rich enough in any material to just keep using it, so if you want to use this you can, and yet again if you need any help please tell me down below, and or, or maybe even DM fest Festive Trippy on my Discord server, he might be able to help you. So we've got Quest here, as you can see I don't really have anything changed here, because I don't really like, 
I, I, I don't want to start doing quests and like go go up to the mid macro. So you can do something with this if you want. You might want to have to get help from someone else because I have no idea what any of this means. I just personally telling you the best honey route or the best honey macro that I use anyway. Plans is plus. And now this is where it gets a bit complicated. So personally, this is what I've got here. Ignore this bit for now. Just look at this bit here. So. The reason I've got this is because I've copied what Festive Trippy has, and I believe um, this here is like the nectar that you get from doing certain pots here. You probably know if you play this game a lot. These pots here, if you plant them and like harvest them, they give you some nectar and give you a lot of boost. So this is what I've got set. Um, you want to set each one and like what percent you want and like how how important it is basically. However, this is not too important uh, really. If you don't really know what this is, just set it to one of these because if you set it to blue, red, or white, it will set it to a like a pretty good preset for that color. So if you're a white hive, you can set it to white and then it will set it to a pretty good uh, preset here. I've got two hours here. I think that's probably the best one to go for and then here you want to put your allowed planters i've got plastic and candy however i know a lot of you guys might have a lot better planters than me i'm pretty bad at this game and we've got allowed fields here and i put in these three because i can get three different types of nectar and it's just generally my favorite types of nectar and the best in my opinion uh you also want to tick planters plus here yet again please comment down below if you need help because I know a lot of this may be a little bit complicated. So in stasis here, or status, I don't know how to say that. You can see here, I, all of this I don't really care about. This is just like session or total, whatever. No one cares about that. But you can see here, Discord webhook. This is like, you don't need this. However, personally, I think this is a pretty cool feature. So I enabled it, and you can put your Discord um, webhook link in here, and then put your ID of your user. I'll tell you how to do this right now, because this is something I do know how to do. And why do I know it? It's because I actually had it set up, and as you can see, it tells you, like, converting backpack, it tells you converting balloon, it tells you what your character is doing, and it will tell you if there's any, um, any stuff that has gone wrong, and also every hour it gives you an hourly report where you can see your stats, for example, last hour, honey earned 1.5 billion, pretty cool. So to do this, uh, go to the channel setting, you can go in your own little, like, make your own Discord server, you don't need to be in mine, obviously, because I'm not going to be letting you make a webhook, because they're pretty dodgy, but this one's fine, don't worry. Alright, go to this cog here on edit channel, go, just, you can make your own Discord server with a, like, a little channel, just for yourself. Go over here to integrations, webhooks, click on that, and you can see I've got a webhook here. So what you want to do is copy webhook URL, and then you want to escape. Then you go back to the macro and you put the link of that URL, the thing you just copied, into here. Into this little bar here. And then you put your user ID here if you want to find out your user ID. Literally just click on you, or right click on you, and copy ID. Pretty easy. Just click on that and then you'll have it copied. Alright, it gets a lot harder here. So, this is where it gets a little bit harder and you might need help here. So... Uh, if we go down here, hive slot, this one is pretty important. First of all, tick always on top. You want to tick this box here. And now, hive slot. If it's one, it's this one. And I recommend always going one, because I think one is the best one. And then we've got two, three, four, five, and six. I recommend one's the best one, because it's just easy to remember which one's one. Um, but, if you're, for example, if you're in this one, set it two. If you're in this one, set it three. But I always select one, so I've got it on one. So make sure to change that if it changes. Um, my hive has 42 bees. Yet again, the best way to find this out is just click on this B tab, and you have, uh, you have 42 bees. There you go. You can put your private server link here if you have one, and it will rejoin you every time uh, you disconnect, I believe. Uh, we can see reconnect daily at these times. Obviously, I'm not going to set that. You can if you want. Movement speed without haste. You've got to make sure you don't have any haste tokens when you work this out. And to work this out, you go over here to system. And you scroll down to uh, movement speed. Where is it? There it is. 48. But I've got 5 haste tokens. So just run around for a bit and try and get rid of your haste tokens. Or reset your character. And then you should 
Furious C, your pure movement speed, which is minus 26. And you're about to see when my haste runs out, it will go down to 26, and then you put that in there. Because if you take this box here, the move speed correction box, it will actually correct you if you if you get some haste tokens and you start like moving weird. So move method here, I've got a cannon sprinkler type. Put your sprinkler type. So for example, I've got the golden. Um, I don't even know what they're called, like the golden gushers or something. Um, the, basically, I've got the golden ones, so always put the golden ones there. If you've got the goldens, put the basic if you've got the basic. Put the diamond if you've got the diamond, put supreme if you've got supreme. Honestly, if you have supreme, you probably, you, you probably know what macroing is. Convert balloon always, I've got this one always, um, and I'm pretty sure that's the best one. If you have a buoyant bee, or any, like, bub, like any balloons, or if you're playing with someone with a buoyant bee, um, I'd maybe just keep that on. We've got disabled tool use, which I'm not going to put on. Announced guiding star, which I guess you could put on if you want, if you know what that is. If you don't, don't worry. And here are the keys. You should already have these if your key settings are QWERTY. If there's anything else, you'll have to change it yourself. So now, I'm going to show you it in action. I'm going to go AFK for 10 minutes. And <laughs> let's do a time lapse of me being AFK. And you can see how this works. And yeah, let's just go. Currently it's 10.49. I'll see you guys at 10.59. Oh, I was AFK for more than 10 minutes. However, I gotta say something. As you can see in the video, uh, I'm not actually in Stumpfield currently. That's because the, the whole auto thing is one, planting planters to get boost, and two, like harvesting the wealth clock and stuff and you'll see this in the video clip now the reason for this is every now and again it will do this to keep the buff so that's why I haven't even gone into stump field yet and don't worry it's just because this is a small test so it's not going to be very accurate Okay, I think I'll finish there. And the reason I didn't make too much honey, I mean, usually for the time I AFK for, which was a little bit more than what I said, I would get 300 million-ish or 400 million-ish, but I've only got 100 million, and that's because I accidentally touched it, which messed it up a little bit, but we'll ignore that. And also, at the start, I did, uh, it did, like, have to plant the planter, get the wealth clock and everything. However, you can see it's very worth it, and last night I was AFK on the macro for many, many hours, and as I said, things might go a little bit wrong every now and again, you just gotta keep trying stuff out, keep, keep like redoing it until it goes right, it shouldn't be too hard, and tell me if you need any help, because you might have done something wrong, and I'll see you guys in the next one, Bye bye Do this before Beastmas and you'll be rich.